Welcome to Ati's Education. Today we are going to learn about types of angles, parallel lines and perpendicular lines. Before we start, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe my channel. So, let's get start to our video. Types of angles. In this standard, we are going to learn about three types of angles. They are right angle, acute angle and obtuse angle and about their definitions. Which angle is called right angle? Let's learn about it. The first type of angle is right angle. I draw here a figure. To draw a figure of angle, we have to first draw its base arm and then we are going to put the center point of protractor to the vertex. This will be our vertex. Just put a center point of protractor on the vertex and then we are going to count opposite sides 0 of vertex 0, 10, 20, 30, 40. Here we are going to draw an angle of 90 degree This is the 90 degree angle. When we draw such type of angle, that angle is known as right angle. Means an angle with a major of 90 degree each called right angle an angle with a major of 90 degree is called right angle now the second type of angle is acute angle Now again here I am going to draw one figure of angle. For it first of all I have to draw a baseline. Then I am going to decide the vertex. For it here I make a sign of arrow and here the point we get that is our vertex. Now put the center point and here I count up to 60. Now we know that the measurement of this angle is 60 degree means an angle which measures are less than 90 degree are called acute angles an angle which measures less than 90 degree or we can say that less than right angle because right angle always shows the major 90 degree less than right angle is 
is known as acute angle look it's very easy whenever we draw an angle below 90 degree they are acute angles now the third type of angle is obtuse angle any angle with a major above 90 degree is known as obtuse angle so the definition of obtuse angle is an angle which measures more than a right angle or more than 90 degree it's called an obtuse angle just write it an angle which measures more than 90 degree or we can say that more than right angle because right angle always have the major 90 degree is known as an obtuse angle so just draw here a figure of an obtuse angle Now we have to measure above 90 degree. Here is our 90 degree 100, 110, 120, 130, 140. I am going to draw here 150. The measure of this angle is 150 degree. Look, it's very simple to remember the definitions of types of angle. That right angle is always shows the measurement 90 degree. Means any angle with a 90 degree is known as right angle. Then acute angle always shows the major below 90 degree. So an angle which measures less than 90 degree is known as acute angle and an angle which measures more than 90 degree is known as obtuse angle. It's very simple to remember. Now we are going to learn about parallel lines. Look at the lines here on our notebook if we draw lines like this and give a name to that lines i give here a name first line to M and second line to L. When we extend these two lines, we find that these two lines are not intersecting each other. They do not cut. Look here. When I extend this line, these lines like this, we find that they go through the same direction 
means they are not intersecting or they do not cut each other this type of lines are called parallel lines here we can take another example of parallel lines look here this is the scale you know that the edges upper edge of this scale and lower edge of this scale these lines are also parallel lines because when we extend this ruler we find that they are not intersecting to each other or they do not cut each other so these lines are also parallel lines now look here the pictures this picture is about the bars of the window look at the bars of the windows when we extend the bars we find that they are not cut each other means they are also an example of parallel lines here is a ladder the picture shows us that these steps of ladder are also parallel lines and these two vertical lines of ladder are also parallel to each other so what are the parallel lines parallel lines means lines which do not intersect to each other or do not cut each other are called parallel lines we can find more examples of parallel lines in our surrounding so just write here the definition of parallel lines the definition is lines which do not intersect or do not cut each other are called parallel lines let's draw here a figure of parallel lines our notebook lines always shows parallel lines they are the examples of parallel lines l m now we are going to learn about perpendicular lines look here here is a sheet of paper when i fold it like this now i am going to make another fold here like this now let's unfold our paper we find here some lines when we draw these lines with the help of pencil and scale like this and measure the angle form here to measure an angle we have to put center point of our protractor 
on the vertex. Here is our vertex where two lines are intersecting. Let's look. We can find here that the angle shows us the measurement of 90 degree. Look here. Here is our line and the angle here is formed is right angle or the measure of angle is 90 degree angle. Now we, we notice that these two lines are intersecting to each other or cut to each other. When this type of lines are cut to each other and they form an angle with 90 degree, these lines are known as perpendicular lines. Or we can see many objects standing straight on the ground. When we go to the playground, we find there is a pole. The pole is straight to the ground. The angle between the pole and the ground always shows us a right angle. Means they form an angle with a measure of 90 degree. Similarly, we can find that adjacent sides of our book or notebook. Look here. Here I show you. Adjacent side means this line and this line. These two lines are known as adjacent sides of this notebook. These two lines are also form an angle with a major 90 degree. So, they are also known as perpendicular lines. Or when we observe the lines here on our notebook, look, the vertical line, here I am going to draw a vertical line, this vertical line and this horizontal line. Look here, here they make an angle. With a major 90 degree. When we measure it with the help of protractor, we find it is exactly about 90 degree. Look. We can find here is arrow. An arrow shows us the measurement 90 degree. So, two lines of our notebooks means vertical and horizontal lines of our notebook are also perpendicular lines. We can say that when two lines form an angle of 90 degree with each other they are known as perpendicular lines when we observe your surroundings you find the perpendicular lines and parallel lines in many objects. So just observe the objects and find the lines. I hope you will understand it very well. See you in next video. Thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you.